What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the G&G GPM 92. This is a M9 replica by G&G. It is a full blowback, gas blowback pistol. So when I mean full blowback, it has the full cycle um, of the slide and it actually loads an XBB as well. Uh, some gas blowback pistols don't actually cycle the entire way. Uh, those are some of the different CO2 blowback pistols or even non-blowback pistols. But in our case, we're looking at a full stroke gas blowback pistol. The G&G GPM 92 is a full metal construction. So the gun feels extremely hefty in your hands. Uh, it does really replicate the real thing with its weight, size, and just how it feels. One of the noticeable cosmetic features, it has a white dot sight, so target acquisition is extremely easy. It's honestly really nice to see guns with sights like that because a lot of people pay extra money for night sights or even to upgrade their sights to white dots like this. Or if there's no aftermarket sights available, this is nice because it comes with them right out of the box. You also get a rail at the bottom. That way you can attach a flashlight or a laser if you do see fit. You also get a safety on the slide and it also doubles as a decocker. So you can decock the gun, put it in safe, and then you won't be able to pull the trigger. Pull it out of safe, you're good to go. Down here you get a 27 round magazine and it is their drop free magazine. So as soon as you hit the button, the magazine will fall right out and it has a very, very smooth action. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's grinding in place or anything's causing any resistance. So extremely nice for those drop reloads and you're good to go there. Adjusting the hop up on this gun is a little more difficult, but not hard in comparison to the GTP-9. That gun had that tool on the barrel, which was super easy, honestly super cool. Uh, this one's pretty standard amongst gas blowbacks. You're gonna go ahead and take your magazine out. Press this button in on the side here. Come to the other side of this lever. Twist it forward, you actually see the slide move. Slide comes off. And then your hop-up adjustment is right here on the inside of your slide. It's just a little dial. There's absolutely no tools required, which is still very convenient. Go ahead and put the slide back like you normally would. Rack it all the way back, flip the lever, let go, and your gun's good to go. And you can use decocker and decock your pistol and put it in the safe so nobody will be able to hurt themselves. Another notable feature is the outer barrel has a 12 millimeter thread on the inside. So you will need an adapter, unfortunately, if you wanted to run any standard 14 millimeter negative thread tracer units or suppressors or amplifiers or anything along those lines, you will need an adapter. It's really the only downside I see to this pistol. Uh, you do get plenty of gas efficiency when you use it. I saw myself getting about 40 rounds out of one fill of green gas, which is awesome because you never wanna run out of green gas while you're trying to get through one full magazine. Um, you also have the option to purchase an extended magazine, which honestly this thing gets through without any hesitation. Um, so for you guys who love extra ammo on the field, you can go ahead and upgrade to this extended mag and it looks pretty cool too. So you can go ahead, grab one of those and you'll never really have to worry about running out of ammo. We did do our own chrono test. Uh, they do say it shoots around 300 to 330. We saw a few up in the 340 range, uh, but nothing really tipped over 350. So you will be good to use in CQB. Um, we like to do our own chrono test with 0.20 gram BBs just because it's nice to actually see what they shoot because sometimes the manufacturer can be a little off. You know, they average all their pistols. So uh, this is definitely good for indoor CQB. Just like the GTP-9, you also get the carrying case and the speed loader. So for carrying around this nice gun, you can keep it protected in this case. We are also going to be shooting a few things with this gun. So we'll probably cut to that clip right now. All right, so we're out here. We're gonna be testing out the GPM 92. GPM 92, we have the extended mag, so we're gonna be able to get a lot more shots onto a few of our targets. I'm very excited to shoot this gun.
one single BB. <laughs> Not one. Pierced the hull of the spam. <laughs> I think if we crack this open, it'll have all the BBs that come out. Probably. Well, that one was one. That one was made through. Really? Is it recording? Yes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's so gross. It smells bad. <laughs> okay, so this thing shoots really good. Uh, it got through the entire magazine and it kicks really crisp and hard. So for you guys who like that extra sense of realism, this thing really does do well. Uh, the Spam, it was the most interesting target I think we've ever used. So, yeah, that was, that was interesting. So, back to the review. As you can see, the gun shoots really, really nice at a variety of targets, and it's a lot of fun to shoot. Crisp blowback, just a great overall pistol. Um, and if you guys don't like the tan, they offer it in black and OD green, an even wider range for you know anybody who wants one. This thing really is a cool pistol. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of M9s, to be honest. It's just not my preferred uh, go-to, but shooting this thing was actually really refreshing because I've shot a few M9s in the past and they just really weren't that great, but this thing, honestly, is super nice. So one more thing, G&G actually sent us this gun and their 1911 to showcase and you know show you guys everything about them and also give them away so pretty much what that means is one of you could take home this gun or if you check out the other video of us going over the 1911 you could also take that gun home we really do appreciate G&G sending these guns out to us honestly this thing is awesome and I couldn't recommend it more so to get yourself entered into winning one of these guns, all you need to do is be subscribed to our YouTube channel and comment down below on each of these guns' individual videos. This clip is a kind of universal clip that we put on both videos. That way the rules are standard across the board. So if you want to win the M92, make sure you're subscribed and comment down below M92. And if you want to win the 1911, make sure on the 1911 video you comment M1911. That way you get yourself entered and you could possibly take home one of these guns. The 1911 comes with everything you see in the case and the M92 comes with everything you see in the case plus the extended magazine. Unfortunately there isn't one for the 1911 but still to take one of these guns home for free is awesome in itself. Seriously, thank you to G&G for sending this out. Really appreciate it, and we're glad we could make a video on it and show it to you guys. If you like the video, consider liking the video and consider subscribing. If there are any suggestions for our videos, please throw them down in the comments. We do take what you say into consideration. So thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, have an awesome day.